easy to use and cost efficient ENC tools that together take you through the life cycle of an ENC in just six steps. Looking for quick and easy data production, quality assurance and efficient validation, encryption and permit generation for distribution. Why not take a look at 7C's ENC tools? In this video, we will show how FME and S57 Writer for FME can be used to convert ESRI shapefiles into S57 objects. In this example, the source data contains the bathymetric data that needs to be integrated into our demo ENCs. FME Universal Viewer can be used to visualize the original shapefiles. Once the files have been loaded, FME Universal Viewer provides functions like zooming and data queries to analyze our source data. This allows the user to investigate those data items that are relevant for the subsequent S57 conversion process. FME Workbench can be used to configure rules for the data translation and to run the translation itself. The translation rules for this example have been defined already and need to be loaded into the FME workbench. After the FME workspace file has been loaded, the data translation flow is visualized. The translation process takes a few seconds or a few minutes, depending on the number and size of the source data and the complexity of the translation rules. The conversion results are summarized in a log window. At the end of the log, users can verify if the conversion process has been successful. After the bathymetric data has been translated with FME and S57 Writer, the results can be loaded in ENC Designer. The dataset containing the shoreline we captured manually has been loaded already. Now we had to add the dataset with the converted bathymetric data. The contour lines and the spot soundings exceed the defined coverage of our ENC. ENC Designer provides functions that allow us to use the outline of the data coverage as a clipping frame. The results of the feature query can be shown in the Object Info dialog. It shows that the bathymetry has been attributed correctly. Now we are looking at data that has been compiled from different sources, and as we can see, a few manual corrections are required. ENC Designer provides various tools for geometry editing. For example, we can create nodes to connect intersecting edges and easily delete elements that are no longer needed. Once manual editing has been finished, all information is available to create Group 1 objects like land areas and depth areas. All of this can be done automatically with the integrated Skin of the Earth tool. In this video, we demonstrated how easy it is to include and merge information from different sources in order to create the Group 1 objects of an ENC. Have a look at one of our other videos to learn how to add aids to navigation information that has been extracted from an external file or database.